Hey folks, Sam with the long hair here. Um, going into uh, spoilers for level 81 through 83. Uh, this is the uh, lead up to Garlemald. Uh, highlights from that stuff. So uh, this is your spoiler warning for uh, level 81 to 83. Um, this is my second highlight video. Um, it's got some good stuff in it, so uh, hopefully you uh, stick around, watch it for the uh, 30 or so minutes of it. Um, got some fighting action, got some uh, dialogue stuff, um, got some good reactions uh, from me the whole way through. So, um, trying to get back into the groove of the editing thing after uh, the uh, uh, family emergency stuff that uh, happened back in December and January. Um, it's slowly coming back to me, but um, I, I'm, I'm getting it back. I'm getting it back. Um, my health isn't the greatest, but um, hopefully that'll uh, that'll change uh, once I get to a specialist or three um, coming up in the next month or two. So um, with that said, Let's uh, head on over to the highlights without any further ado, and let's go. All right. By the 12. Holy crap. It's everyone. It's freaking everyone. Glad you could join us. I hope you don't mind, but we went ahead and started without you. That's fine. As you can imagine, our traveling companions were eager to become acquainted. It is a rare thing indeed to see such a diverse and talented group of individuals assembled for a single purpose. Right? We fight not only for the sake of Eorzea, but for the entire world, including the people of Garlemald. Much rides on the efforts of the Ilzabad contingent. Indeed, which is why I am glad to find myself see, uh, in the company of many trusted comrades, yourselves included. We have a hard road ahead of us, but walk it we shall, together. Let's go. Allow me to introduce you to the rest of our company. Everyone! If I may have your attention! You got it. I am Arun Senna, spokesman for the Gridanian delegation. Here on behalf of my esteemed sister, the Elder Seedseer, we shall provide support and protection to those in need during our time in Garlemald. Right. To that end, I am joined by healers selected by the Conjurer's Guild, with the Order of the Twin Adder's Finest serving as our escort. All right. Of course, with an experienced white mage such as yourself accompanying us as well, those requiring more involved treatment will be in safe hands. Raya O sends her regards, by the way. Suppose I'd better say my piece. So good. Wait, I know you. The name's Sickard, in case you've forgotten. Truth be told, I'd rather you had forgotten. Any road, the Admiral asked Captain Hillfear to send his best, and for whatever reason, he picked me. Of course, if I'd refused, I'd be the laughing stock of the bloody executioners, and my reputation's taken enough of a keyhole in as it is. But more importantly, like any pirate worth his salt, I know when you're staring down a storm, you gotta trust in the commander of your ship. So if the Admiral wants us to go to Garlemald, not for plunder and glory, but a promise of peace in our time, then that's what we'll do.
Since we all know how much the Empire loves its steel, we thought we'd bring along a few smiths to make the most of it. Give them a pile of scrap and they'll cobble together anything you fancy. Nice. Of course, just like the Gradanians, we got fighters of our own. We might have come with a more constructive purpose in mind. But we're more than capable of cracking skulls, believe you me. Well, you're certainly raring to go. But then again, so are we. Damn right. The most dependable warriors of Uldar and Alamigo have assembled at the Sultana and General Aldin's behest. If Garlemald has truly fallen, then the whole place is likely to be crawling with Telophoroi. We'll need plenty of troops to clear and hold a path for others to follow. That's where we come in. Naturally, Marshal Tarrapin and I will be leading from the front. Right. It's been some time since I last saw you in your element on the battlefield. From what I've heard, you've become pretty fearsome yourself. Master Matoya, the Avatar of Destruction. <laughs> With comrades like these, I know we'll succeed, no matter what awaits us. And then we might finally get a chance to enjoy a good long rest. But until then, let's give it our all. The four High Houses, House Hylenart foremost among them, have arranged for a host of machinists to join us on our mission. Their knowledge of Imperial Magitech is sure to be a great boon. They will address any yeah. problems of a technical nature together with the smiths of Limpsa Lumitsa. There is another awaiting introduction. Uh oh. Oh no. Lord of Monolane. Ah yes, uh, Emmanuelaine de Fortin, at your service. Though, lest there be any misunderstanding, I should stress that I've not become a fearsome warrior while you were away. Rather, far from it, actually. My brother, in his infinite wisdom, decided this would be an excellent chance to make something of myself. Oh, and fight for world peace and all that. But, should the opportunity arise for a spot of ballroom dancing, I will be your twinkle-toed gentleman of light. My God. May your graceful prancing lead the way to victory. Huzzah! I cannot wait to regale on a hoa with my tales of daring do. Out of my way, you preening fool! Oh my God! Forgive us for coming late. We are the delegates of the Eastern Alliance. Sirena, and you've brought company. For battle and blood we come, as the step is sorely lacking in both. No towers befoul our lands, so we marched on those of Doma, only to find them beyond our reach. But now our thirst for slaughter will be slaked. No quarter to the enemy! Yeah. Sadu Hatun, no. We go to make peace with the Iron Men, not war. There's a lot of people to talk to here. I just want to talk to a few. I care not for the Iron Men or their troubles. It is the destiny of the weak to die in ignominy. Even so, all I would do is I have agreed. I volunteered to join this band at Sirena's request, and if she thinks it a worthy cause, that is reason enough. Though we hail from different tribes, our bond has grown strong of late. She is much better company on a hunt than any of the steppes oafish men could dream to be. With the Maul, champions of the Nadam, 
and the Detharl having sent so many here, I had thought to defend the step in their absence. And I would have done so t were it not for my stepbrothers. They urged me to grant our allies the sun's might, that is, radiance may deliver them unto victory. Though I must tolerate the presence of this feral Detharly dog, as first amongst my brothers, I could do no less than accept this challenge. My deeds will become the stuff of legends. Thank you, little son. Chuchuto. I'm so glad I found you. I have a letter from Master Haemon. Let's read it together, shall we? Haemon, holy fist. Now let's see here, Ahem. I have every confidence that your fish shall bring the Talaferoi to their knees. And should you spy any beautiful maidens thereabouts, perhaps sing to them my praises. Charming master. Well, more fool me for thinking that the letter would contain something actually inspiring. Let's just, um, forget this note exists and focus on the battle ahead. I love Haemon Holy Fist. He's a Manalane. Well, well, if I'd known what social gathering this would turn out to be, I'd have dressed for the occasion. Still, this seems the perfect opportunity to mingle with the other guests. Would I be correct in assuming those ladies over yonder are Sirena and Sadu of this- Oh god, no. Oh god, no. Hmm, perhaps I should introduce myself, though I don't much like the look of that fellow with the enormous axe. Stay away from them. Stephanivian! My, uh, machinist brother in arms. If it isn't Kaylee, tis thanks in no small part to you, I am the manufactory's. F that the manufactory's future is looking brighter than ever, my friend. I am pleased to report that I and a handful of my colleagues have been selected to join the contingent. Ere the expedition is ended, even the Temple Knights will be signing our machine, singing our machinist praises once they've borne witness to not only our mechanical proficiency, but our combat prowess too, of course. Goddamn right. Albrick. Let me have a look at you. A touch nervous to enter the battlefield, perhaps? Well, I shall be out there alongside you as a Temple Knight serving with your fine van. Though I may not look it, I was the Azir Dragoon once upon a time. So you can rest assured I will give it all that I have in the coming fight. I certainly won't be shown up by you or Astinian. Time to talk to my folks. Speaking of Astinian, I did not expect to see the other former Azir Dragoon here of all places. As he well knows, I'm not one for verbose greetings. We shall instead let our lances do the talking once we're on the battlefield. Then we'll see if the other has been diligent in his training. Ooh. Ooh. You thought you could sneak off to Ilsebard without telling me? Nothing escapes my notice. Now, you will wear these garments I've made for you, whether you like it or not. You never cease to amaze. Ergmus and Bwomwada have finally returned from assignments in faraway lands. They'll be staying at the Rising Stones for a while to keep an eye on events throughout Eorzea. Since they'll be running things back at headquarters, I was wondering if I could lend a hand in Charland. Oh, why not? You can keep Kryal company at the Baldesian Annex. Yes, we'd love to have you there. And I heard Agramus and Blumwada did a fine job carrying on in our stead while we were lying comatose. With them in charge of the Rising Stones, we've nothing to worry about. My thoughts exactly. Also, while I'm confident you won't go collapsing again, because a certain someone who shall remain nameless isn't in a position to transport your souls to another world. Hint, hint, Graha. If anything s similarly disastrous were to happen, I'd be well positioned to do something about it. 
Anyway, I've got a few things to take care of, and then I'll make my way to Charland. I really do hope these new clothes are enough to keep you warm in Garlemald. It's not much, but it's the only thing I can do for you, other than pray for your safe return, which I will, every day. Let's not keep the contingent waiting any longer. Here are your winter woolies handcrafted by yours truly. North Sea Coat. Let's try it on. Oh my god, that's huge. Alright. I mean, it fits with the color scheme and all. Doggy. Oi, oi! Looks like we ain't the only ones who sent out scouts. Keep them away from the carriages! We lose those, and we're as good as dead! Okay. Here we freaking go. Coming battle, you will fight as Kaylee Blacksworn. Protect the others. Scatter gun so hard. Can I even? Oh, I can. Okay. Okay. You look all right back there. We're fine. I'm ready for more. Good, good. Who's next? All right. We're safe in the back. Meanwhile, on the front line. Ah, there's a tower. Lease. Sadu. Shola. Hurry.
<laughs> She's using respite. Removed from the field was not a euphemism for enthusiastically murder. It's nothing that won't heal. In, in time. time. <laughs> the trouble is, their tempering has made them utterly fearless. Subduing them would be easier if they had the capacity to submit in the first place. Well, this is the path our young charges would have us walk, and that we all agreed to follow. You knew it would be hard, yet still you pledged your lance, did you not? That I did. You. That's for Gilia. Damn it. I need to help the others take her down. There's no end to them. Oh, you're a sight for sore eyes. I was wondering when you turn up. Let's do this. There's no stopping us now. Come on. Let's show them what we're made of. All right. This is what I've been waiting for. We have them now. Forward. Oh, geez. Right. I wasted that Let at the wrong time. Pippin, you upgraded. Can next time. Get the queen out here. Come on, queenie. Is everyone all right? Oh, yeah. That was nothing. Lord. 
we go. Sadu, baby. Love it. <clears throat> A worthy adversary. <laughs> Rest. Recover. Reclaim yourself. Then. We will fight again, to the death! Sadu Hatun! <laughs> that was the last of them. The day is ours, thanks to your timely arrival. What of the supply caravan? You're doing fine. Hmm. Outmaneuvered, but not outmatched. Good. Let us take the Imperials into custody and rejoin our comrades. Righto. And soon we shall arrive at the capital. Mm-hmm. 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 There's the tower. Don't even know what to call it. Just the tower. So cold and unforgiving. Thus spoke Emperor Solus as he gazed upon his barren domain. Tell us about it, Demet. Eight hundred years it had been since the Garlians first set foot here. Bested by the Kavosi. After centuries of war, and driven from fertile southern pastures into the blasted northern wastes. The Reapers. In that garden of desolation, they clung to one another for warmth. Freezing, hungry, desperate, hated. In the year 1513 of the Sixth Astral Era, a young legatus named Solus single-handedly sparked the Magitek revolution. Mm -hmm. How did he conceive the machina that feed on Ceruleum? Once a common, soft-spoken soldier, how had he so quickly ascended through the ranks? He was a <laughs> he was an like Asian. So many others, those who knew the truth, are gone. He was an Asian. Taking in the capital with his eyes for the first time, I recall thinking to myself, far colder on the earth than in the heavens. Yes, far colder indeed. Bitterly so.
Garlemald. Not so much as a whisper. The roads leading beyond the city walls would have been used less in recent years. Nevertheless, this was one of the most important gateways into the capital. Wow. A buzz day and night with activity, aye. Merchants passing through the checkpoint, many of them stopping at the local hostelries. Surely they cannot all have been tempered. I wouldn't put it past him. We can consider the question after we have made camp. If we spend any longer outside, we may well freeze to death where we stand. The tempered Imperials, too. I run's got the right of it. This will be our temporary base of operations. Secure shelter for ourselves and the injured, and dispatch scouts to survey the surrounding area. If we're planning on staying here a while, we ought to give this place a proper name. Yeah. Hmm. Well, the constant sound of ice cracking underfoot makes me think of broken glass. An apt name, perhaps. I bet enough of this. To work, everyone. Okay. Camp Broken Glass. <laughs> it is Camp Broken Glass. Alright, let's, uh, let's attune. Alright, thank you for watching. I am Sam. This has been Way Too Late TV. Um, Endwalker Highlights number two out of goodness knows how many. Um, stay tuned for uh, the next episode of Endwalker Highlights, hopefully coming up soon. Um, for more um, Way Too Late TV stuff, you can go to right there, waytoolatetv.com for all your Way Too Late TV needs. Um, you can go there any time of the day, any day of the week. Uh, it's got um, my Twitter, my uh, YouTube, which you're on right now because all my stuff is YouTube only. Um, it's got uh, playlists for all my stuff um, and uh, just a couple other bits and bobs that I'm sure that you'll find interesting. Um, and uh, yeah, um, I will be back next time. Thank you for watching. Good night, my night owls. Sleep well when you get there. Way too late to